came now to steady myself and I'm only 57. It's been two years since Cassandra Cass oh, battled a severe case of COVID everything. in the hospital. There she is, a tube in her trachea to help her breathe. It was horrible. My kidneys had started to fail twice. Doctors told her three kids she might not make it. For weeks, they worried Cassandra would die from COVID, just like her mother had a few months earlier. That was devastating. She went in the hospital on a Wednesday. She was gone on Monday morning. So that was a lot. I am. Somehow through care, luck, or sheer will, Cassandra survived her own symptoms, and doctors tell her she's recovered, but her body still tells her she has not. I can go from here to my bedroom in the next room and be out of breath. Taking a shower sometimes will knock me out for the entire day. Her complaints are similar to what doctors have been hearing from patients since the early days of the pandemic. Weeks or sometimes months after the virus should have moved on, they're still experiencing pain, headaches, fatigue, shortness of breath, depression, even brain fog. This is a real syndrome that many patients are suffering from. Dr. Bruce Levy and is a pulmonologist at Brigham and Women's Hospital, now leading Boston's effort to recruit more than 900 COVID survivors for a national study. Cassandra's one of them. The goal, to figure out why COVID appears to linger in the body when many other viruses don't. Even influenza or some of the more severe viruses that we typically encounter, people generally recover within a month. And for COVID, many people were having symptoms that persisted long after 30 days of, from their infection. The symptoms of long COVID appear to go well beyond the lungs. That's why the research team now includes experts in the heart, brain, joints, and nervous system. Perhaps uh, as this virus finds entry into the respiratory tract, it's also finding entry into other parts of the body. It's very jarring for patients. For Cassandra, she hopes answers will lead to treatments and then finally relief. I'm not the same person I was, and it's hard to grapple with that, but that's the key. You're not that same person. Hoping for answers sooner than later for Cassandra and so many others. Nationally, researchers hope to recruit about 20,000 adults and 20,000 uh, children for this study. To learn more about enrolling, you can log on to our website, wcvb.com or our app. Ben and Erica. All right, Jess.